Welcome back to Central New York's Open House. Previously on our show, we introduced you to the Mohawk Valley Water Authority. We took a look at the treatment plant and all that goes into providing you high quality water. Joining us once again is Pat Besher from the Water Authority. Pat, welcome back. Morning, Joe. Good to see you again. Um, I said before that I think a lot of people take water for granted. They turn on their tap and there it is. Not only is it there, but it's high quality water. We looked at the treatment plant and all that goes in to making the water fresh and clean and drinkable. Yep. What are we going to look at today? Well, when the water leaves the plant, it's as pure as it can possibly get. The challenge for us is to keep that water as clear and clean as we can until it reaches every user. So the water has to be stored in certain areas in the system so there's adequate water for firefighting purposes and for increases in demand. And so we have storage facilities throughout our distribution system. In the past, we had what were called open reservoirs. The problem with that is that all that nice, great, clean water comes out and sits in this exposed to the atmosphere, the rain, the wind, everything that can blow into those reservoirs. So then we had to retreat the water, add more chlorine to re-disinfect it before it went back out and went to the eventual users. What we've been doing is replacing open reservoirs with what we call closed storage in the form of tanks. And we're at the site here at the Southern Reservoir where we're building our 26th tank and uh, that's going to have six million gallons in that tank and added to all of our other tanks we have uh, about two days of storage for the whole system and what the tank does is it keeps that water as clean as we can keep it with the least amount of retreatment as it goes back out into the system and that's great for uh, for the users to have that water available it also meets some new regulations that have been changed lately that require us to do uh, a little bit of different treatment with the water and clean up some of the byproducts that happen during disinfection. And one of the ways we do that is by using less chlorine and uh, mitigating the need to rechlorinate by having that water stored in that tank. So what is going to happen to these open reservoirs now that you have the tanks? Well, they're gonna stay in place. One of them is still connected to the system and it's gonna be remaining in a bypass mode. It's 285 million gallons of water, which is a considerable source if we ever needed it for some emergency. It's not in active use, but if we ever had to draw off it in the future, we could with a boil water advisory or a do not drink use, but at least it'd be water for firefighting and household general uses. Um, but it, it, in bypass mode, it'll stay in place. But for now, uh, all the water from the users will be coming off the tank itself. The water will circulate daily right through the tank. It stays nice and fresh. What about the other two? Um, one of our lower reservoirs here, we're not sure what's going to happen with it. The third one is not in use at all and will be drained and could be used for other purposes like stormwater management and things like that. Um, but the main one here, the largest one at the top of the hill, is 285 million gallons. It's a great resource as a backup, so it'll stay in a bypass mode for the foreseeable future at least. And does this now complete the replacement of all the open reservoirs? What, ha what about the ones in Deerfield and in Marcy? You're right, this completes the entire process. We are in full compliance with all EPA regulations and the reservoirs at Deerfield and Marcy and now here at Southern Reservoir are completely replaced with closed storage rather than open reservoirs. And as I said, they are in bypass mode, they're available for emergencies, but they're no longer in active use within the system. Pat, thank you for joining us once again. Coming up after the break, we'll take another look at the water tank being built here at the Southern Reservoir and we'll talk to Dick Goodney, the Director of Engineering with the Water Authority. We have 40,000 accounts in the system. Uh, the, the expenditures have been spread out over 14 or 15 years. We do an annual capital plan and the goal is to accomplish those projects while minimizing the impact on our rate users. 